Hello YouTubers, I'm Technoid here and today we're out in the living room repair station uh, the workstation where I do a lot of my work on my electronics and what we're looking at here is my stack that I've got going today because we're going to get into something technical today we're going to do some technical stuff you know, use some technology and that's where I got out my O-scope and my signal generator and what we're going to talk about today is tape head azimuth and the adjustments that you need to do it right. So anyway, what I'm doing is I'm running a signal from the signal generator into the tape deck and then from the tape deck out to the O-scope. And what you see there on the O-scope is called a Lissajou pattern and it is uh, right now it's about 6.3 kilohertz and it's in phase and what I've done with the oscope it's in the XY axis so the left channel is getting the X and the right channel is getting the Y and from the signal generator you uh, you get the uh, the frequency so the frequency is coming from the signal generator and the tape deck is going to record it and we're going to see how well the heads are aligned. Right now it's going through the electronics of the tape deck. Okay, so it's perfectly in phase. You see the line is sideways. That means it's in phase. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to tape the, take this old school TDK SA tape. I'm going to put it into the cassette deck and the cassette deck has a feature called Auto BLE. Okay, Auto BLE is this guy right here and I'm going to press it and we're going to watch the tape deck set itself. Okay, so it's going through the calibration mode now. Okay, do level and the bias and the EQ. All right. And then when the tape is ready, it's ready. Okay, and we set the timer back to zero. And now this is showing a dot line because it's not looking at the uh, the source. And I've got to find the source button on here, source. Yeah, okay, so now it says source. And we're looking at a signal that's going in at about minus 15 decibel, okay? And then, there we go, we got the in phase. Now I'm going to start recording on the tape. See, right now we're just looking at the monitor input, the straight electronics. And that's pretty good that the, that the electronics are totally in phase. That's, that's pretty cool. So anyway, now I'm going to hit record and then the play. Okay, so now we're looking at what the tape head is seeing, all right? And you can see that it is in phase and the lines are not wacky. So that, it, that means that the tape is aligned properly. Okay, and you can see little aberrations there that could be caused by tape dropout or some wow and flutter. But uh, that is about as sweet and as good as it gets. Okay, now what makes this so significant is that this is a fairly new cassette deck that I got from eBay. So I'm going to, you know, hazard and believe that its adjustment for the azimuth is pretty spot on, okay? So with that, I could, that means I could take this tape that I'm recording now onto, onto this deck, onto this tape, and use it to adjust the azimuth of another cassette deck, okay? And that is going to be the, the subject of next video that I do for next week. I'm going to take this tape that I'm recording right now and the signal on it and run it through the scope again, but through a different cassette deck. And we're going to adjust the azimuth of the head to make sure that it looks just like this. And you see, it's very, very straight. And it's got some little bumpy things on it, but that's due to the the imperfections in the tape surface and such. So anyway, that's what we're getting for this week. And I hope you enjoyed it and looked at my, my technical savvy in being able to do the O-scope. <laughs> anyway, until next time, see you later.